So what I'm doing today is the AC on uh, our travel trailer started um, making a loud noise and so I tore into it and found that the uh, squirrel cage uh, fan is cracked and it's wobbling and so uh, that's what's causing the noise and this is a carrier air 5 air v and there's a model number r8 rv 14102a and maybe i'll show y'all real quick don't want to run it too much with the crack <laughs> how much of a racket that makes it should be fairly quiet and so um, we're gonna tear into this thing and replace it now I had all this off um, last week and I put it back together because um, I did not want to leave the AC unbolted uh, for an extended period of time uh, just in case it rained I didn't want you know this sucks down the AC and squishes the gasket keep it from leaking and I did not want it to leak so I went ahead and put it all back together but that's what I had done is I pulled this apart and I was able to go up in and see the actual blower up in there and I don't know if you can you can see through that little hole there's the blower um, but you can't you can't get the the fan out from from in here you're gonna have to go up on the roof and so that's why I went ahead and put it all back together because it really didn't help me any to have it undone from here because there's not enough room um, to get the blower out to get it off the shaft so we're gonna have to take the top housing off there's a, a plastic housing over this whole thing we'll have to take that not the shroud that goes over the whole unit but that covers the blower and all that that's gonna have to come off and we can lift the motor up out of the um, we can move the undo the motor pull it up and out so that we can get slip the blades off the shaft or the, the yeah the blade off the shaft so that's what we're gonna go do we're gonna go up on the roof I started a little early so that it's not too hot outside because we're gonna be working on the roof for a while uh, luckily this thing does have a back ladder which makes it very useful to uh, get up and down so we're gonna go up there uh, just put a few bolts back on the shroud or a few screws back on the shroud so that because um, I knew I'd be going back into it now the problem is this is a 2008 uh, it's 2008 holiday rambler alumilite um, but you know 10 years of sitting in the Sun has uh, that cover is brittle and so we're gonna have to try to get that cover off without it breaking so that's gonna be kind of difficult so uh, let's see what we can do we're just have to be real gentle with it um, and try to get it off and without cracking or breaking it all right so here we are inside well outside but inside the outside uh, got the shroud off yeah it's got a little chunk missing out of it and a crack over there we've got some white duct tape we're gonna put over that gorilla tape and uh, this shroud is like over two hundred dollars so we're gonna try not to have to buy a new shroud and it was like that already did not do that taking it off so um, here's the problem we've got here is if you can see It is just so brittle. So this is gonna be a nightmare to try to get this thing off without tearing it up. Um, make sure. All right, so we've got these screws to take out. Once we get those out, I'm gonna have to find something flat 
to slip in here and uh, try to hold these out. Uh, or maybe I can try to get them with my fingers. I don't know. It's just, it's so brittle. Um, but here, here's what I was talking about. We, we've got no room in here to get this thing out. Um, I think we don't have to take any of this apart. I think what we can do is if we can get this shroud off, we can undo the bolt on the, the fan and we can undo the mounting on the motor. Slide the motor, I think it's got enough room. If we slide it all the way up against here, that gives us about three inches. That'll allow us enough to slide the fan off and then slide the new one on and then slide the motor back into position. And that's the plan. And uh, we may not have enough slack in this wire from the motor. We may have to uh, undo some of the wire here and route it a little bit where we can get some slack in it to be able to slide the motor back. But that's the plan. So I'm gonna take my screws and since we're working on the roof, I've got a Ziploc baggie here and we're gonna put all of our screws in a Ziploc just to make sure they don't roll off the roof. And it looks like we're gonna have to take this cover off as well. This probably has a start capacitor and the run capacitor, all that kind of stuff in it. And then, um, yeah, like I said, once we get all the screws out, um, we can uh, start trying to lift this thing off, but we got these little tabs that are so brittle that um, I'm not sure they're gonna uh, pull away far enough without breaking. But even if they do break, um, I'm not too concerned with the tabs because uh, it does have the screws that hold them on. And I think the screws will be enough. Uh, we'll probably put some silicone around here. I'm assuming there's a gasket on here. And so we'll probably put some silicone around it when we put it back together just to help seal around it because it is airtight. So let me uh, get all these screws out and we'll go from there. That went a whole lot easier than I thought it would. Um, I was able to use my fingers and pull these away. I did not break any of the clips getting this thing off. It, uh, it came off easily. I was worried it was going to be stuck. And I may not... It doesn't look like it has. Oh, it has a rubber or a foam gasket. So we're just going to put it back with a foam gasket. Um, I do not want silicone on there uh, for next time in case I do need to take it off again um, because that would make it stick and it would probably break apart trying to get the silicone to free up. So here we are and I can show you all the crack on this thing. You can see it wobbling around. Um, but if you look, see it's missing a chunk right here, and then it's got a crack that runs up through there. And so, see it? This thing is just wobbling all over. And I think what started this, um, we took it for a camping trip, and the AC had a bad vibration. And so when we got back, um, it, uh, it started getting loud like that. Um, so it had a vibration and it was loud. So I took the shroud off and there was a dirt dauber nest, a big dirt dauber nest on the center of this fan here. And this fan's fine, it didn't hurt this fan. But I think what happened is that dirt dauber nest threw everything off balance and so this thing was just vibrating, the whole motor. And it, uh, this fan here is just kind of brittle and it uh, caused it to crack. So let's, um, you know, honestly, I might be able to, if I can just lift the motor up a little bit, I think I can slide it out. I don't think I'll have to slide the motor this way. I think I can just lift this end up and that'll be enough to clear this and bring the fan out this way. So let's do that. And while I've got this apart, I picked up some uh, cleaner to spray in here and we'll clean this all up and, uh, you know, might as well while we got it apart. 
one other thing. I forgot to show y'all how I undid these clips. I just pushed down with the screwdriver. And they come undone. Push down and out. And they come undone. So now the motor's undone. I should be able to lift it up. There we go. And so I'll have to get a screwdriver. I think I'm going to end up having to get a wrench. I don't think a screwdriver is going to get that off. We'll see.